relevant um, what is the role of intuition so on and um, what's so interesting about the material of paint specifically and they all seem to uh, echo a spirituality around resistance that the paint itself offers and overall I guess what I'm wondering is do any of you guys have a meditative process that you engage in which is more along a personal um, someone says intimacy, someone else says privacy. I guess both of those are about property. So beyond property, because you haven't made a painting yet. Um, anybody got an idea what it is before property? We're not there yet. Okay, um, but you see what I mean about before there's a physicality, there's, um, I don't know, an interrogation um, that's existing, integrity. I'm happy to just stop talking and let you talk. Do the group here? <laughs> Do, uh, yeah, uh, is the question going towards the idea of finding something within the practice of painting, like finding yourself, for instance? No, the question is, I like, guess, yes, a lot of this has been uh, the talk. Sorry, sorry. The talk tonight has obviously a lot of it. Um, come from people who are very learned and very experienced in what it is that you engage in day in day out as a kind of a practice and a profession and I guess I'm much more of a kind of um, uh, hobbyist but ultimately the same interaction is required and so I'm curious about the questions which obviously come from Mark as a manner of interaction really that you're in inquiring as against um, a kind of a cause you know, an existing cause, something latent, I suppose, rather than something that's demanded from outside or demanded from within. I don't want to say any more. <laughs> Thank you. No, I, 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 I mean, I, I think what you're, what you're asking is sort of, yeah, it comes out of Mark's particular line of inquiry, this idea of connections to materiality and all that. It is, in a way, sort of uh, mirroring conversations people might be having about other things, not art, but in terms of religion or in terms of uh, this sort of, um, oh, why did I take this question? Um, <laughs> but it, yeah, I, I, I sort of get where you're coming from, that, that Mark's particular line of inquiry could, you could argue, brings up ideas around, you know, um, a sort of spiritual connection to a practice, an object, uh, a thing, and then that is really in, in painting. I, personally, I think it's 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 a rom. It comes from a sort of romantic concepts that we've inherited. Um, but yeah, I should have been ahead. Okay, that question was so open-ended. I can say whatever I want. <laughs> But I will try and direct some of it towards what you're saying. And I do think there's something that we haven't discussed and there's something specific to um, choosing to paint as opposed to using other media. And that would be that there is a, a dimension to it which takes on board the idea of temperament in a person. And a lot of colleagues of mine in college would have chosen other media. And I chose other media. I, I work, I study sculpture and work through a variety of lens based media and sculpture. But in the end, I came back to painting or came towards painting because I understood that there was a happy marriage between the activity of painting, the type of concentration that's called for, and temperament. And I think that there's a vocational dimension to this, and I don't think it's the same as spiritual. People could argue it is. So there seems to me to be a very um, obvious block 
somebody who is not interested in painting taking a painting because it comes out from within in you and it's impossible to fake an interest in painting. You can fake an interest in photography or video and arguably a sculpture but it's almost impossible to fake conviction in terms of executing a painting. I don't know if anyone else agrees with that. No, I mean, I, 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 mean, I believe that kind of for painting you have to be obsessive about it. Like to, and I think this, like, you know, I use this word tentatively, but belief. Like when I go to see paintings, you know, I will either believe in them or not. And, yeah. and for me that has to do with, I think the artist's uh, intent. Like, yeah. I mean, I, you can read it and I think it, it's very much about obsession. And, and for me, when he was asking that question, all like the word obsession just popped into my head. I was like, that's for me what it, it, it kind of is. Uh, you know, my, my road into painting would have been very different. Like I, I imprinted on painting very early on. So, but um, I think that the, the obsession has just kept on growing and growing. And, you know, I think painting is one of those areas that it, there's enough meat on it for people to really get stuck into it for, for, their, for their entire life. But how, how that, um, that idea of uh, believing in, in a painting or, or sort of um, thinking that one can't fake a painting like they like could other mediums, that does relate to sort of concepts of, that are related to, to spirituality in terms of it. there's leaps being made. Mm -hmm. To say to, to there's sort a leap of faith, yeah. maybe making the painting. Yeah, 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 sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, there is. And um, yeah, so so I, I do think it, that, that sort of these sort of like primal, um, primal or sort of like another word for spiritual, but tensions are always sort of around the subject of actually judging paintings and you know as you said believing in the painting and everything. It's, it's, it's there are leaps going on that, that people have to do. I, I sort of disagree that, that I, I think um, you, you probably could fake painting, but I also think you, you could fake... I, I wouldn't say it's different to the, other, to the other art practices. It's just sort of they can't fool you because you know, because you have an engagement with the, with the, um, with the practice in painting. Mm. But perhaps if... if if you had it, if you had the same sort of level of uh, indulgence or or relationship with photography, it's yeah, I mean it's more complicated than I am indicating. And if you look at um, color field painting or you know hard edged mm. abstraction, that there there is a different kind of proprioceptive um, process which will, of course, be more rigid and mm. the temperament, mm. mood, and circumstances of the mark making. Yeah. are much more controlled, so sure. there's lots of exceptions, yeah. 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 Sure. Well, I guess maybe painting, painting. <laughs> it's hard to, to paint. I think people can accidentally make